This is section six. He hit the clouds running and never looked back. The permanent memorial tribute. As a tribute to my precious husband and the father of my incredible children, I participated in the Kansas City Royals Charities World Series Legacy Brick Program. I purchased a brick in memory of Ron Weaver to be placed on the walkway at Kauffman Stadium. This way, when my kids and their kids and their kids attend a Royals game, as we did many times as the perfect family of four, Grandpa Ron will be right there with them. Please be sure to save him a seat. And yes, my friends, there is always a silver lining. Next up, my best friend had two best friends to comfort. I do believe God places the right people in our lives for very spectacular reasons. Yes, that's my word. And yes, it's in the book. Five days before my husband's death, my best friend since high school came to my brand new house with tears streaming down her cheeks to tell me one of our other girlfriends, disaster. This lady's husband had just been killed in a work-related accident. He was so young. This was so needless. Two very young children now had no daddy. This was so horrible. Five days later is when I called that same best friend to tell her in a fog that the paramedics had just taken my husband to the emergency room. She was there in a flash and the rest of course is more of our history together. How she survived my widowhood is still a mystery, perhaps to each of us, and how my co-widow and I navigated our new waters is still a bit of a blur. The good news is we became buddies as we tried to find solace in each other's pain. History is one of those very large words that I share with those who ask and some who don't, that you miss like crazy when a spouse has died, a child has died, a close friend has died. There are things you have shared, sometimes with only one other person on the planet, and no one could ever relive that experience with you besides the person who's now gone. Identifying that what I may be missing is the history was a very big step for me. Do you remember when we, oh, no, of course you don't. There's always a silver lining. And so we go on two by two. Have you ever noticed that just about everything is a reminder of togetherness? Even the ark was two by two. If you buy a new table and chair set, your choices are two chairs, four chairs, six chairs, eight, 10, or 12. What happened to my very own kitchen in 1995? My table of four was never the same again. That empty chair was always there. Do you think it was accidental that the three Weaver survivors ate at the counter or even on the sofa from then on? And if any of those others came around, having them sit in the chair was, uh, well, certainly never the same again. What is a grandma without a grandpa? Baptisms, graduations, weddings, even funerals. The other half of you is missing as you plow through these events alone. This is the hand I was dealt, and with the help and companionship of dynamic family and friends, my aloneness sometimes feels less so. I think of the poem Footprints often, because I know even at my darkest times that God was carrying me. What does a family photo look like with the head of the household not in it? I sent family pictures each year, to our rather large list of family and friends, so relatives who lived out of town could see how darling my babies were and are. These family photos stopped in 1995. To this day, the very first entry in my phone log on my cordless phone is my mother. I don't actually know how to delete the phone directory, but now after almost three years, I smile when I scroll through as it's a heart tug that she's watching over me. Yes. There is always a silver lining. I have so much more to do. Being able to live and survive and even thrive is such a gift. We have so much to offer the world. And if you're not aware what your offering may be, talk to a close friend and ask what your special gifts are. The world needs to hear from you. That next door neighbor, or even that family member needs to hear your message. I'm here to tell you, there are always reminders of my 22-year-old title. On any application or profile inquiry or just about any form, there are boxes. Which box do I check? Am I single, widowed, orphan, single parent, mother, 
grandmother, friend, survivor, believer. We all have several titles, and I suppose it depends on how we're feeling at the time that any of these questions are asked, but my favorite title is believer. I believe in Jesus Christ, and I'm thankful that he decided to come into my life in 1984 in a very personal way. Where on earth would I be in my journey if he had not placed just the right people like you in my path to help and encourage me along the way? I believe in the power of prayer when absolutely no one else is around or I don't want to be a bother to others as I wallow sometimes in my aloneness. The one and always place I can turn is God. I believe that we're placed on this planet to love and serve others, and I'm blessed beyond imagination at the ability he's given me to share my story and my talents and my gifts with those whose paths I come across. Please know I'm interested in learning your story. The world may need to hear your story or maybe that of your very close friend. Let's connect. There is always a silver lining. What is your club called? For those who are members of my very specific club, the Widow's Club, what about those wedding rings? His, yours. At the time, it was a symbol of incredibly deep and lasting love. Now those pieces of jewelry tug at my heart each time I see them, as no one knows but the two of us what it was like to go to that mall, that store, that salesperson. Yes, I still remember his name. Again, a memory by myself. That story in history is ours alone. I have created and adopted the following acrostic to focus on what I now choose to call homecoming. Death, D-E-A-T-H. D is for deal. E is for effectively. A is for and. T is for talk. And H is for homecoming. So my acrostic of death is deal effectively and talk homecoming. Homecoming is a term I'll be using to help me know that those who have gone before me have arrived at home with my God. It helps me to know they are happy and they are watching over me. I feel my life is so blessed and I'm honored to have known these incredible people. I know you've had awesome people in your lives too. And please know my dear friends, there is always a silver lining. Please share your story with me. Connect with me at hehittheclouds.running.com or right here on my YouTube channel. I'd love to know your story. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Be blessed.